Links. I'm KJ Johnson, and welcome to Zinc TV's New York Links, your local news and entertainment program from New York City, and once again, Barbados to the world. Today, we're coming to you from St. Nicholas Abbey, built in 1658 by Colonel Benjamin Barringer. It's actually one of the island's oldest plantations. So let's see what Barbados has to offer. Here's what's coming up on today's show. And you fill it with the rum. Here we go. Put a label, put a little history, date and number each bottle so it's unique. Okay, slowly, so here we go. Ordered the grilled snapper, one of my favorites, with baked macaroni pie, there's grilled potato and coleslaw and a green salad. Nice, and likewise I have the marlin fish with rice and peas, or as they say here in Barbados, peas and rice with salad and um, some coleslaw as well. Abbey is one of the island's oldest surviving plantations. With its original boundary still intact, the plantation encompasses over 400 acres of rolling sugarcane fields, tropical gullies, mahogany forests, and formal gardens. Set amongst towering cabbage palms is the plantation's great house, a Jacobian mansion featuring elegant curvilinear gables and ornamental detail, including four cornerstone chimneys and fireplaces in two of the upstairs bedrooms. Unusual elements for a Caribbean home, they were faithfully added in keeping with plans thought to have been brought from England, where the Dutch influenced architectural style popular at the time. This attention to detail has made St. Nicholas a rare and stunning example of the 17th century style. The Georgian style triple arcaded portico and sash windows were added in 1746. The cedar paneling installed in 1898 to protect the home from dampness and solid mahogany door were both felled from trees on the plantation. The Earp Garden, located on the windward side of the house, follows a traditional English pattern popular during the 17th century. Herbs were valued for both their culinary and medicinal purposes. The garden features lemongrass, garlic, chives, aloe vera, bay leaf, and an assortment of peppers. The formal garden and orchards feature almost too many species to mention. The gardens are frequented by guinea birds, fond of noisily proclaiming their territorial rights, as well as Barbados' own green monkeys. Tay St. Nicholas's special aged rum in the plantation's rum and sugar bond. The unblended spirit is hand bottled straight from the barrel into an elegant glass decanter. So this is a 12 year rum and this is our bottle. Okay, it's a French bottle. All right, I can just shift across and show you over here. This is the bottle. We put a stencil of St. Nicholas Abbey onto each bottle. It's all done by hand. And then we sandblast the image of the house 
on to each bottle. So then it comes out looking like this. And how long does that process take? Well, that's done, you can do several bottles in a day. It's very, it doesn't take very long, really. So you put your stencil on and you sandblast the image of the house in. Then you fill it with the rum. Here we go. Put a label, put a little history, date and number each bottle so it's unique. And then we can inscribe your name or a message onto the bottle. So if you want to use it as a gift or something. Exactly. Um, anniversary, birthday, or you just want to put bottled especially for, and you put your name. And how much does a bottle like this cost? This is 70 US or 140 Barbados. And this is a pure 12 year rum. And is that what I have here? That's what you have here. So what is the process that I have to swirl it around? You have to swirl it around, All right? And then you sit slowly. Okay, slowly. So here we go. <laughs> goes down really smooth. Yeah. It tastes great too, it doesn't taste like... It's pure 12 year rum. All these lovely barrels here are filled with the rum. Okay, so we're aging the rum in these barrels and then we bottle straight from the barrel to the bottle, so there's no blending. So what a, the higher the, the barrels, does that mean it's older or does it have no significance? It has the dates on it. See, 1998, okay. So this is a 12 year rum now. Wow, and where do you get the barrels? These are the old bourbon barrels from the U.S. They're all charred on the inside, so you know they have a little bourbon as well on the inside. So they bring that special essence to the rum as well. There you go. <laughs> so you're enjoying it? Yes, it's very, very good. <laughs> Thank you so much, you're Heather. You're welcome. You're welcome. Visitors may also purchase brown sugar, molasses, and other homemade products, including chutneys, jams, and jellies. And we are back after these messages. While we were in Ocho Rios, Jamaica for Jamaica Jazz and Blues Festival, our special correspondent Bob Gore visited the herbalist at the Ocho Rios market. He got some great remedies that just may help you. I'm here in the Ocho Rios market with Anthony, who's an herbalist. He's going to give us a couple of insights into the traditional healing that he's learned from his father. And you may want to know more about this and come see Anthony in the Ocho Rios market. This dark blood right here, and this I got a little bit penarial, very hard to find. It's very hard to find in the forest, very important, penarial. So you got the dark blood right here, and you also got a little bit penarial. Then you're gonna combine it with a little bit bourbon. So all these three is like for the period. Like if you got like a pain in the period, a little bit cramp in the belly while seeing the period, then this is the medicine you can boil for the period. Like this, like the corkscrew right here now. You got madamak, you got green stick. This, you can also boil this now to, to clean the system. Like for all the coal and everything like that. Like if you cock up and clad up, this you can free up from this. This is medicine, straight herbs. This one, search me out. You can combine search me out and a little bit sour sap leaf and a little bit chump it. So this, you can also boil this for the stomach. This cleanse and clean your stomach, right too. Any, anything on the stomach, this would free it up, right? The purpose you have to combine the bushes, it, yeah, it, it's like, one. One is one is something different. You, you combine three, then you have the medicine right here. But when you boil one, it's like you can make tea from one. But three, when you know what's wrong, but we feel the pain and all that, and where the pain comes from, then you, make, you, you combine like three, different one. You have to know how to combine them and what the bush you pick to make the medicine. This is great. We appreciate you sharing your insight today. We want people to come to the Ocho Rios market seek out Anthony the herbalist. He may have something that can help you with a problem nobody else can fix. Choo choo, choo choo. Any kidney problem and all that, you can step up, you got treatment for everything like that. Asthma, any stomach, any belly, anything like that. Medicine is right here, you know. Thank you Anthony for sharing your wisdom. So it's one love, and God bless. Bye then. Once again, I'm KJ Johnson, and thanks for watching Zing TV's New York Links. We hope you enjoyed our tour here of St. Nicholas Abbey in Barbados, where we got to see antiques and artifacts spanning over 350 years. In addition, we hope you enjoyed our rum tasting. Also, don't forget, if you missed us, you can link us on Facebook, 
YouTube, and or Twitter. On behalf of the Zinc TV family, have a great week, be well and prosperous, and we'll see you next time.